Hi, brother. <laughs> Hello yourself. Glad to see you. I was just reading about you. It says here, the drummer was a bluff, hearty individual with a ready smile. That's me, brother. That's me, down to a T. A ready smile. It don't cost anything. But when you smile, it's got to come straight from the old heart. None of this false tinsel stuff. I checked with you on that. But when you've got that smile on your fizz, you don't have to worry about anything else. Just tell them a good story. Be one of the boys. Get the right goods at the right price. Get around through the territory on time. Man, that's all it takes to get orders, regardless of what it says in that magazine. Well, maybe in your day. But the selling conditions I have to face are different, to say the least. Today, prospects want to know more about what you have to sell. Selling, along with everything else, has changed since you were on the road. Selling has changed with merchandising, with research, with manufacturing, with transportation and the rest of the world. I don't say that your methods didn't work for you then, because I know they did. The methods we use today are simply the thorough methods of the times. The methods we all have to use if we're going to turn time into money and expect to bring in orders that make money for the firm. You're talking my language, brother, but let's get down to cases. Let's open up a sale here. I'm the commercial traveler. You're the customer. This suitcase, I leave at the hotel. This catalog, I take right with me. All right. In I come. Hello, old hoss. Ain't seen you since June. How's tricks? How's the wife? How's the little old town? You certainly open up like a cyclone. What's the matter? You think that line ain't so good? It's good exercise. Where do you go from there? Well, if you want to analyze it, after I get you warmed up, I show you the nippiest line of goods you ever clapped your peepers on. I treat you right, brother, the way you want to be treated. I look over your stuff, and then, why then, you sign on the dotted line. Sit down. I suppose that worked for you, especially that whirlwind approach. Just swept them off their feet, didn't you? But seriously, times have changed. We don't do it that way now. The modern salesman has learned to appeal to the customer's self-interest to present his products in such a way as to arouse a desire for more information. Let's see you do it, brother. Well, what's on your mind? Mr. Owens, you have a certain number of farmer customers in this community. Let's say there are about a hundred. If each one of those farmers gets a better profit on his crops, you'd get a direct benefit from his increased purchasing power, wouldn't you? Now, I'd like to give you some ideas that will help your farmers make more money and at the same time help you increase your own sales and profits. Now what I've got to say is tied up with the farmer's problem of getting better crops from the seeds he plants. Seeds, you know, are, just as you and I, subject to diseases. These plant diseases dig into the farmer's pocketbook, they cut down on his yield, and affect the quality of the crops he harvests, which means less money to spend in town, less money to spend here in your store.
Sounds reasonable. You see, that dealer had no reason to be interested in me. He's interested only in how my products can help him make more money. Of course, I was selling him a fast-moving line of products that most dealers are easily interested in. One of the most profitable for both the dealer and the consumer. These products make a good example of how we sell because they're one line with outstanding selling features to demonstrate. All right. You go into this dealer and you hand him all this malarkey about profits and crop quality and whatnot. Then what do you do? Then I tell him about the product. Tell what it does and how well it does it. That's what I'm doing now, rehearsing my facts. Rehearsing? It ain't necessary, brother. Well, wait a minute. Did I hear you right? Did you say you're rehearsing facts, my friend? Certainly. That and planning my sales campaign. You have to do it. Dealers won't bother with you if you don't know what you're talking about. Well, maybe not, but man, that's work. Less than you think. Especially when you're selling something that's interesting and easy to explain. On some products, all you need to know is the fundamental purpose of the products and the general method of using them. For example, Profound technical knowledge isn't necessary to explain that every year farmers are losing millions of dollars because of stinking smut of wheat, barley stripe disease, sorghum smut, seedling blight, anthracnose on cotton, angular leaf spot, damping off of young cotton seedlings. You don't have to be a graduate scientist to explain how farmers' dollars leak away through rhizoctonia on potatoes and potato scab black rot, and stem rot of sweet potatoes, diplodia on corn, damping off in common vegetables, rotting of vegetable seedlings, hard rot, and other diseases of flowers. Each year, those common diseases take money right out of the farmer's pocket, money he planted but didn't reap. Whole fields are often severely damaged, and in others, the quality is spoiled enough to reduce profits at the elevator. Farmers that disinfect their seed get the kind of crops the farmer needs to make money. They get increased germination. More vigorous plant growth. Improved quality. In other words, increased profits. The whole community, the farmers and the retailers in town get the benefit. Of course, it isn't necessary to tell that whole story to any one dealer. Just the parts that apply to his own farm and community. But I know my products. I decide beforehand the products that offer the dealer the largest sales potential, and I say to him something like this. When you remember that at least 50% of all the potatoes we plant here in the United States carry disease in some form or other, you can see the risk the average farmer runs. As a matter of fact, the loss in yield alone on account of potato diseases is about equal to the crop from one acre out of every five or six acres planted. Boy, how long have you been studying? Long enough to talk with conviction to my customers. Long enough to know my product. Why, there's a big story alone in the research investigations that go on before any of these products are introduced to the public. Hundreds of them are studied every year in the manufacturer's laboratory. Each new product has to undergo the most exacting trials before it can be offered for sale. Samples are sent to federal and state experiment stations for scientific and practical farm tests. It takes years before any Dubai product can be proved worthy of the public's confidence. That information means something to a dealer. It gives him confidence. Sometimes, of course, you get an objection like this. Well, what you say may be true, but what you fellows don't consider is that it takes time and work to apply these disinfectants. That used to be the case. But nowadays, they've got seed treating down to about as simple an operation as there is on the farm. Farmers all over the country are building these treaters for grain and cotton at a cost of only a couple of dollars. We supply free blueprints for building the treater, and any farmer with a cold chisel and a saw and a monkey wrench can do the rest. Seed cleaners, ginners, elevators and dealers everywhere are putting in treaters to help the farmers. Hundreds of thousands of bushels of seed grain are cleaned and treated each year by portable outfits traveling from farm to farm. Seed potatoes are an example of a different setup but it's even more simple. All the grower has to do is mix Samazon Bell in water and dip his seed in it, using a barrel if he grows a lot of potatoes, or a couple of pails if the job is small. So you see, the speedy methods of applying modern disinfectants have simplified the job and made the work easy. 
Bear Semerson is promoting the idea of treating and showing farmers how. With all that, Mr. Owens, you naturally get a quick turnover when you stock a good line of seed disinfectants. Well, I don't know. By golly, neither do I. How does he know he's going to get turnover? What's to keep those cans from roosting up there on his shelf? Is he supposed to take your word for it? Not a single word of what I've said does that dealer have to take for granted. That's my next point. Prove your claims. All this information about volume, Mr. Owens, is derived from government figures. This sheet gives you the potential market breakdown for the whole country by states. It shows you what you can expect. You say these are taken from government figures? Yes, United States government census figures. They show the potential market in every state. The opportunity is yours to get as much of this potential as you want to go after. And that's not all by any means. You have to back up everything with proof. And in this case, the manufacturer helps me with real evidence about the need for the product and its effectiveness. Look at these bulletins. Proof from practically every state college that has anything to do with agriculture. Imagine what these do to help the dealer see his opportunity. You don't have to take our word, Mr. Owens, nor the word of the manufacturer. For here's the impartial word of authorities on agriculture. And you know they're only interested in the welfare of their farmer constituents. On page after page of these scientists, and they're in a position to know because they've made the tests. These college men tell the farmer about the results they secured in experimenting with Dubai products. Proof also comes from the United States Department of Agriculture in Washington. And it extends out through the states to the counties and the farm bureaus. Most farm states have publicly endorsed seed disinfection. Iowa, Illinois, Texas, Minnesota, Missouri, Indiana, North Dakota, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, Nebraska, Oregon, and others all over the country urge their farmers to use Serizan for grains and cotton, Semisan Jr. for corn, Semisan Bell for potatoes, and some sand for the seeds of flowers and vegetables. That's what I mean by proving your claims. Yeah, but holy smoke, I didn't have any proof like that. I know you didn't. You had to make your claims and travel fast. Now, my next point is something else that will surprise you. Because when you were on the road, things were really different in this respect. Now, my point is, sell your advertising. Something you probably didn't have very much of. This company has been advertising steadily for almost 20 years. The whole purpose of the advertising is to convince farmers that they can make more money by protecting their seed. Ads like these appear in farm papers and magazines throughout the nation. All progressive farmers and a lot of town people here in your county read these magazines and these ads every month. We cover 17 million prospects with this national circulation. You can get ads all prepared, ready to run in your local paper simply by asking for free mats and electros. Makes the farmers think of you when they think about seed disinfecting. And there's radio, telling the same educational story reaching millions more. Hold on, brother. All that gab about advertising won't get you any place. You're off the track. Advertising don't mean nothing to the dealer. That's why you're not up to date. When you can show a customer that you're advertising for him, and that it's the kind of advertising that drives business into his store, then you've got something. Look, here's how we do it today. Back of the advertising, there's a broad educational campaign. Reaching America's future farmers, working with 4-H and FFA clubs, promoting interest in seed treating projects and seed treating rings, reaching vocational agriculture teachers, reaching county agents, reaching custom seed treaters and farmers, distributing seed treating information to all these groups educating the public in the modern way to fight plant diseases. And reaching out to the millions who go to the movies, short feature pictures extend the education. Feeding the multitude, tall corn, Peruvian gold, black scourge, seeds of prosperity. These pictures are distributed free to rural theaters. Dealers tie in with the theater manager's promotion. In nearly 15 years, these pictures have been shown to millions of people. And to show how closely all this is tied up to the dealer's profits, 
Here's a free window display telling more of the story, reminding people once again as they pass the dealer's store what seed disinfection means to the farmer's pocketbook. Inside the store, free crop pamphlets and display cards clinch the story. A complete advertising and merchandising follow through to the dealer's cash register. Brother, that's a story. But listen, and this is on the level. Do your dealers really move this stuff? Do you dare to go back? Or is it 23 skidoo after you load them up? <laughs> no, I'm safe enough. You know why? It's because I've shown my dealers how to sell the goods I've sold them. When I sell to my dealers, I expect them to get turnover. I know that they will get turnover by selling the same thing I'm selling, which is not merely a certain number of pounds of Saracen or one of the other seed treatments, but a service to the farmers. So that's my last point. Don't sell the package, sell what it does. And you might be surprised how quick the dealers get the idea. How soon do you want to start getting 190 pounds more seed cotton to the acre? Glad to hear about your little girl, Tom. Say, here's two dollars more out of every acre of that corn of yours. Costs you a penny an acre. Here you are, Mr. Scott, Simison Bell. 35 more bushels of potatoes to the acre. Here's three extra bushels of oats to the acre, John, for a nickel an acre. Point number one was? Appeal to the customer's self-interest. Appeal to the customer's self-interest. Number two. Know your products. Know your products. Number three. Prove your claims. Prove your claims. Number four. Sell your advertising. Sell your Advertising. Number five. Don't sell the package. Sell what it does. Don't sell the package. Sell what it does. And brother? It's a good idea to grab a profitable line when you see it. 